Let me record this one. Let me take a state diagram. Let's say we have this state. This is a little bit different, looks a little bit different. State A divided, and the way they did this one a bit different. That's zero. If the value is one, we're gonna go to state B. And if you hear the value is zero, you go back here. If the value is one, you go right here. C over zero. If it's one, D over one. If it's zero, go back here. If it's zero, go back there. And if it's one, stay here. What does the one on the, and the zeros mean at the bottom? Input. Oh, this one? I'm going to explain that. Yep. That's your output, actually. What are you getting for output? So it really matters on what mm. the diagram is. Yep. So we have four states. The four states are what? State A, state B, state C, and state D. A, B, C, D. These numbers you see on the outside, these are your inputs. We have one input. We're going to call the input X. And w the question, Nick asks, what are the numbers ender? These are really your output. They decided to make it a little bit different than mine before. The output is these numbers on the bottom, and we'll call that Z. Now, I can try to squeeze this on a small table under the same sheet. Normally, I, I do them separate, and I list all the combination, but I think I'll make it bigger like the book to fit on this picture. I'm going to list my states here. So we call the states Q. I have four states. I have A, B, C, and D. X is my input. So I'm going to call this one next state, which is Q bar or asterisk, wherever you want to use it. We'll call it Q star. Next state. And the next state really depends on two things. It depends if x equals to 0 or if x equals to 1. Where are you going to go next? So let's look at it. If you're state A and your input is 0, if x is 0, what happens? Where do you go? You stay at A. But if it's 1, where do you go to? B, right? If you are state B and your input is 0, if x is 0, what happens? Where do you go? You go to A, and if it's 1, where do you go to? C. If you are state C and your x is 0, you go to A. If it's 1, you go to D. And if you are state D and your input is 0, you go to A. But if it's 1, you stay at D. And the way this is drawn, actually, your output, it doesn't matter what the input is. We'll call that Z. If you are state A, what's your output here? Always zero, right? 
If you go to state B, what is your output? Zero. Zero. If you are state C, what's your output? Zero. Zero. And if you are state D, what's your output? One. One. State table, state diagram. The, way, the reason they drew it this way, they said zero, because regardless what the input is, your output's going to be zero. Sometimes you can't use that notation, because if your input is one, maybe you want to give them nothing, but if your input is zero, you want to give them something else. Like the next example. So what if there is three inputs, say A, B, C, that means C would be probably be one, right? We mean A, B, C. If it was on oh, that input, um, like there, will, there would be no D, just A, B, C. Yep. It'd be, C would be one uh, for an output. If I didn't have this? Yeah, if you didn't have be no, There's no ones. Zero, zero, zero. Really? That's your output. Okay. Yeah. If I didn't have this state, that becomes a don't care. You're the designer. What do you want to do with it? You know, so we'll get to that too. Let me take a different one. Actually, the next one has three states in it. Here's the diagram, state A, state B, state C. Notice I didn't put the output under them because it depends. Input, the notation here, slash output. So if I'm at state Z, if my input is zero, my output is zero. If my input is one, I go to B, my output is zero. If I'm at B and I put a zero, I go back here, my output is zero. If I'm at B, you put a one, your output is zero. If I'm at C, and if you put a zero, you get a zero. And if you put a one, you get a one. And you stay here. State diagram. Let's get the state table. So the first one is going to be called current state. That's Q. You only have three states. A, B, and C. Bless you. There is no D. Bless you again. Is that Q, current state? Yeah, we use Q for the states. They make a capital Q. You'll see me use Q all the time. Is that better? The next state, where are you going to be? I'm going to call that the next state. I'll go Q asterisk. Again, it depends on my input. That's when X is 0, when X is 1. If I'm a, and here my output, we'll call it Z, and that's when X equals to zero, X equals to one. In the previous one, once you made it to the state, you always got an output. That was a one. Here, you only get an output when your input is one. So that's why this is different. You have to look at it in both cases. In the previous one, we didn't care what the input was. Once you made it to stage D, your output was 1, regardless if x is 0 or 1. That's why there was nothing here about x being 0 or 1. Here, I'm at this state. That's the only time you get a 1. When you're at this state, and your input is 1. But if your input is 0, you don't get that. So let's look at this. I'm at state A. If my input is Z, if x is 0, my output is 0. Uh, I stay at A, I mean. Yep. 
and my output is zero. If I'm a state and my input is one, I go to where? To B, and what's my output? Zero. Still zero. If I am a state B, my input is zero, I go to where? To A, my output is zero. If I'm a B, my input is one, I go to C, my output is zero. And if I'm at C, my input is zero, I go to A, my output is zero. But if I put one, if X equals to one, I will stay at C. And now my output will be what? One. State table, state diagram, two different ways to write them. They represent the same thing. So notice again, I'm trying to emphasize your output, your next state depends on where you are, the current state, and also on the input itself. Is it zero or one? So do we have devices that actually depends on both the current state and the next state? And the answer is yes.